is Wednesday, June 29th. It's 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm just getting around to making today's video as I was on the phone and was not able to make it at the close. So I'm going to bring over the time in sales and we can see the E-mini S&P trading at 20.70 and a quarter. And then my computer clock here, it's still Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Before I go any further, first the required disclaimer. Okay, it was a fantastic day for the auto trader. The first chart we're looking at here is the E-mini S&P on a line break chart. Uh, this had a number of trades today and did uh, just a little over a thousand uh, for the day on two contracts. Uh, at the very end here, there was quite a nice trade going, um, but it retraced all the way back. As you can see here, this was almost another $500 profit, but it uh, retraced back before it got stopped out by time. Okay, next up is the DAX on the Superenco 6 tick. This did 1475. I believe it hit its goal of 1500 on two contracts. And there was only three trades. Uh, there was a really good short and then a long and then another long here. And that was it for the day. Okay, next up is the DAX on a 34 second line break chart. And we've seen this chart several times over the weeks. And uh, this hit its goal of 2000. When we look at the trade management tab here, our daily, daily goal of 2000 was hit on this chart. So solid performance continues on the DAX. Okay, next up is the crude oil on a Superenco 6 tick. And this is using the line break algorithm, and it did 920 for the day. Uh, the daily goal is on this one is 1500 so shy of its daily goal but still a solid performance trading two contracts okay next up is the e-mini S&P on the Superenco 4 tick this hit its goal of 750 for the day next we have the Nasdaq on the Superenco 10 tick this is trading our line break algorithm and this had a modest gain of $360 on two contracts. Next, we have the Dow mini contract on the Superenco 6 tick. This did 635, trading three contracts for the day. The crude oil on the Superenco 7 tick did 620 for the day on two contracts on a mixed bag of trades including this long at the, this was off the open, but exited after the crude oil inventory report with a pretty solid gain. So all this uh, back and forth here took, took place in a matter of seconds. You can see um, that between 1030 and uh, this action all the way over here, uh, 1030 in one second, and then, of course, force it to exit here. 620, still respectable gain on the crude oil, two contracts. Okay, we have a modest gain of 325 on the E-mini S&P on the Superenco 8 tick. A couple of trades here, but pretty nice trades. And that's all for today's video. If you would like to find out more, please visit our website at bluewavetrading.com or feel free to send us an email at systems at bluewavetrading.com. Thank you for watching today.